Hello friends. This video is about strokes. Particularly my stroke. Could happen on this day ten years ago. December twenty eighth, two thousand three. I was a truck abuser, particularly heroin. Now, I never shot it in my veins like most people. I was a snorter. I got looked by a friend who introduced it to me in raw form. But I got looked on was called scramble which is a mixture of heroin um different chemicals and I was hooked for ten years between the ages of thirty and forty. All of a sudden I am um, Got a patch from Mount Mont Myron's, Maryland there, that either was, either was strong or was mixed with somebody's um, medications. And I was so hooked on it, I snorted it. By riding down the road, really strong. And I mean, remember, even Kobe known per se. I only remember coming down my proceeding, coming down my alleyway near my dead end street, and I could not feel my right side all of a sudden so I uh, could not even put my foot on the cast pedals or brake because it was too there was no feeling in it at all no feeling in it so I, as I rolled up behind my nephew's car I try to get out as I put built the seat belt I cannot get my seat belt uh, because of my hand was so numb and crazy I cannot could not even get out of the car that's when a hit struck at me and full effect. I could not even get the keys out of an innocent. The key was such that the innocent was broken. So it fell that or the innocent on through the floor, my keys. Should I peep the warm? No luck. My family was inside of my house, but they were waiting for the car to go to sh to shop, and. I had several feelings that came over me. One, I cannot speak at all. Two, I um, I was crying, and then I was mad, and the feeling of up up uplessness came over me to the work where I didn't know what to do. 
It was the scariest thing I ever experienced in my life. This mind struck. My old right side of my side of my piece got numb and not feeling, you know. Still, I have a numbness on my piece on my throat now to this day. Still, the spurious things. Anyway, um, about 20 minutes later, I, my, um, niece came out of the, the house. I was able to get my, the car door open by my left hand. So she see the car was open. Yeah. And she proceeded to unloosen my seatbelt, and her and my sister dragged me out of the car up the wheelchair ramp and do it to my ass. And being sub was so messed up on drugs all the time. He told me I was didn't know what it was. It didn't know it was a trick, I guess. I guess. He wanted the car. So they um left me here in my room there on my floor. My mother, a um, neighbor, see me, didn't know what to do. I could not ask her. Um, neighbor came back, asked me a bunch of questions. I could not ask her. I was so screwed up on a stroke and drugs. I snorted because I've never shot any air in my life in my arm. Anyway, um, I found another 20 minutes went by. And finally my neighbor called the police and ambulance for me. I um looked at them on my arm up to let them take me out. They put me on a stretcher and rushed me immediately to the University Hospital where I experienced doctors Seen the busted weird things to me, and then a you know, couple friends, three friends, were there. They they were there to, they wanted to go to the city, to pick up drugs, heroin. They only were there for that purpose. I was loopy. I was not in my right mind. I gave my mom to my friend Rick to give to Amy and to keep uh, safe, safe keeping. No, it was not safe. And drug addicts. Amy came into the Skyhawk Noble. Noble was his name. Uncle was his nickname. And um, proceeded. Later, I found out it, I had my identity stolen.
by the, the three friends. I dealt with these people as friends and brewed down the city to get drugs with them. Um, my stay in the, the hospital, I could not eat, drink, anything for days and on then. It was fed through a tube to um, the Mercury staff could not understand me at all. So I felt like I needed something to um really um like a voice box or something for them to even understand me but they didn't give me that at all. Nine days later a doctor came to me and said they pulled me full of a drug, a spare drug at the time, Narcotrine. Was they cleaned out my system and my body. They put me on this machine with x-ray to see, fed me a little bit of like applesauce to see if I can chew that was a chew test they did for me and I passed so I was able to eat solid food again beans that was only like applesauce and all and the best of puppy scratching the door to get in anyway um After my shirt out of the hospital, I experienced was was only could be called dynamic memories. I was like a newborn infant. I can experience ember symbolisms assigns everything that people take for granted. People don't remember experiencing because once you grew up you become deadened to these symbolisms around us. Symbolisms be all the experience today, feelings, genetic memories came to me at full force and helped me realize this world is screwed up. Anyway, um, that faded in time, like all infants. You know, I was an infant mentality. I, I didn't learn to speak. I had to learn how to use e um, utensils again, like a fork, a spoon, and all. I was, tr was truly messed up inside. I found a box of two pills, air one pills, and I didn't use any. I gave them to Rick, the friend that was same friend I had in my wallet too. Now, Amy and Rick came over couple of days after my stroke and I asked them where my mother was. They both said, what wallet? 
because they had got together with Noble and got credit cards. It, it stole my identity, per se. Friends I have trusted. To end this off, to my few friends as subscribers, Wendy, see so many stirring their peace, cannot talk, their face is sagging. It's a sign of a shirk. The sooner you get this person up, the better up they will be for the rest of their lives. Unfortunately for me, I didn't get any help for almost an hour. So the more I was experiencing my stroke, I could feel my brain frying from the inside. Like the commercial, old commercial, there's your brain, drop a couple aches in the prior brain. Here's your brain on trucks. That's what it felt like to me. It was a scary feeling. Well, I never did snore in the air when the game. I am um, a couple of months after that. And this. That was my stroke. My mind was clear. Clear enough, I started to feel other people's feelings. Not a mind thing where I hear, hear their thoughts, but their feelings. I don't know what it's called, empathy, I guess. I get it. It was so strong that I had to do something about it. So I went back to using marijuana. And once I smoked pot, the stress of my brain went away with a pop, popping noise. I felt better. But I could no longer feel what other people were feeling. Now, it's been a couple weeks now. I quit smoking marijuana or other herbal plants a couple weeks ago. I'm never going to go back. Never going to go back again. I want to experience the same thing I did after my shrug in the way of other people's feelings and more. I think I can control it now. I think I can live in peace and harmony for the rest of my life now. I'm sorry my videos are so long. I know not people, not many people care about what I say or do. The cosmic truth must be known out by this world. And being stuck at a lot of time. Peace, love to all of you. Take care.